Peace, peace, peace to you wherever you are in the world and welcome to another video. So in today's video I'm just going to show you how to assemble a Victorian corset. Unfortunately I don't have the drafting video. I'll be sure to do one as soon as possible so you can see how I did it. So these are the pieces I got from the pattern and I cut them out in both lining and of course fabric, the main fabric. As you can see this is front side and back side together I've labeled them in numbers one two three the front is one to four and then the back is five to seven or the back side um, the center back being seven the main fabric is a denim type of fabric and the lining of course is the usual lining for the main fabric which is a denim I use like a medium weight interfacing and here I'm joining the sides, that's the back and the front together at the side. So that means the fourth and fifth pieces are joining together. Then for the lining uh, fabric, I've used um, really heavyweight canvas uh, interfacing or fusing fabric. It's quite heavy and I'm joining both the back and the front. So as you can see here, I'm ready to join both pieces at the side seam. So upon join, before joining, I decided to put in the, the boning. I used the sewable type of boning. And from the, at, at the bottom and at the top, I've left um, about half an inch uh, space. This is for sewing or attaching the top and the bottom. So I do not sew the boning exactly like from the top. I sew it after this allowance that I left as you can see here in the video. I attach the boning on the main fabric because the lining fabric has a very heavy uh, canvas-like uh, interfacing. So if I put the bone in there, the lining will be too heavy. So to distribute the weight evenly, I put the, the boning on the main fabric and then the heaviest interfacing on the lining to give the corset some structure. So I, I attach the boning to all the joinings. After attaching the bonings, then I went ahead and joined the, the, the back and the front pieces together. And this is the, the, the lining piece, of course, as you can see. And then I ironed everything flat to make sure everything is good and ready for the joining. And I did the same thing for the other side. I joined, I mean, for the main piece and I joined the side pieces. I also need to add the bone into the side piece there. So after this is all done, I'm going to now join the main fabric with the lining fabric together. So the space that I left on the top is the allowance I'm going to use to join them together. Okay, so I'm back from the machine and I've already joined the top part. That is the shoulder line. As you can see, I've joined it and I've also sewn the top stitching. And as you can see, the top stitching was done on the lining part. I also went ahead and put the boning at the joining of the front and back. So everywhere is boned and it's feeling firm now. And so I'm going to close up the bottom part as well. And that is done very fast. So I'm going to clip all the, the no, I'm going to notch all the curves and then after that I'll turn it inside out. This is great and the corset is coming to life. As you can see, it's so firm. So once I wear it, it's going to be really firm and structured. So I decided to add a zipper on mine. Uh, I don't have time to have all the loops and stuff. So I personally choose a zipper. I'm very busy, so I don't have time to be looping. <laughs> so anyway, it's my preference. If you have a different preference, that's up to you. So I attached the zip. I'm going to fold this inward. And then put the zipper, attach the zipper 
the zipper is the one that you can open on both sides so it's very easy to attach you attach one piece on one side and the other piece on the other side and there we have it so finally wore it and this is me rocking it on my hallway runway <laughs> yeah anyway I hope you enjoyed the process I will soon do a tutorial on the pattern drafting part so you can get to see how I arrived at each of these pieces the Victorian for me is actually the easiest corset to draft so yeah I will do that as soon as possible thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and you learned something and I'll see you on the next video